Okay, so this is how to pick a perfect watermelon. Wait, I was going to do it live. All right, so we're going to pick a perfect watermelon today based on some things that I have learned. We got watermelons. We're at the store. You want dark green rinds, so I don't know. These look darker than these. So oh, wait, 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 wait. These are tiny. These are tiny, but they're what we got to choose from at the end of the season. So you don't want any dark or no spots or major blemishes. Scratches are okay. And the thing is, let's pick one. This yellow spot here, I thought that was bad, but actually that means it was vine ripened in the sun. Mm -hmm. So that is a good thing. You want one that feels heavy. This one actually feels really heavy for such a small. <laughs> they you? all feel heavy. They do. Um, and you can tap on it, and if you have perfect pitch, this would be a B flat. I don't know. But we're gonna pick yeah, this you one. Have no idea. And we will open it up when we get home and see if it's a good one. And we'll smooch it up. 